we really do not have to worry about saving the environment. It's really not. We have whatever we do, especially at this point, like hundred years ago, maybe now, whatever we do is about saving human beings. So I'll give you an example. You might have um, come across that human life expectancy has started to go down. The global, statistically, in the United States, the last three or four years, the uh, life expectancy has been going down. So it's the opposite of what we want to see or what we, you would expect with all the advancements. The cancer rate is rising. Um, there is more and more mental illness. There are more and more gut health issues, autoimmune disorders, right? So if you consider the quality of life and overall the health of human beings, it's been declining globally. And what we do now in terms of reducing pollution to clean up our water, to clean up our air, to clean up our food, our indoor environment is to help people, especially our children. So statistically, children are suffering more and more. They have more asthma now. They have more food allergies and sensitivities now. They have more cancer rates now than ever. So we, we have to do it by fixing our environment, but the environment doesn't need us. The planet doesn't need us. Planet would be happy if we were all gone. It's at this point, it's about saving our own, you know, even extinction could not be too far. I don't know how many hundred years. So whatever.